And what's going on everybody? It's your boy Ooch with the 98 review and ratings video for Dragon Ball Super for this week. If you haven't watched the episode, please go ahead and watch it because this episode was very, very good. And this episode review is brought to you by nobody because we ain't got no sponsors. <laughs> and this is the review rating for episode 98 of Dragon Ball Super in about two minutes. So it starts off basically with Goku fighting the trio of the Dangers. They're, ba they're surrounding him the whole time. And this is the part where Goku shows off the white aura. You can think of it as an overshield for those that play Halo maybe. It's basically just a shield. And it actually was, it came in handy when the one brother, Lavender, was doing the poison ability. And that came in clutch. Then they cut off to show Frieza toying with his enemies. Vegeta was uh, was as well. Both were envious that Goku was having a good battle. Then Vegeta steps in to back up Goku so he can rest. But we all know how this ends up turning to be. Goku wants to split it up when Vegeta wants to take on all of them. But then right after this happens, the rest of the Universe 9 warriors decide to join the fray. And it's literally becomes eight on two. So the fight is going like back and forth. All these warriors are coming in and they're basically on the defensive for the most part. But then there's a slight opening where the cheetah dodged two on one attack and they both ended up hitting each other. And that was when they decided to turn up the heat and power up the Super Saiyan. And that's where everything changed for the worst for Universe 9. It was a nice little flashy finish. Some eliminations were made and then the Trio to Dangers decided to, tr to show off their trio attack, which was basically like a, a tri-beam from each individual uh, danger brother. And Goku and Vegeta turned on the overkill and go Super Saiyan Blue and finish them off with the final Kamehameha, which is something I don't even think they've ever done not fused and with that they have eliminated all of the universe nine people and literally it is here where they waste no time in erasing universe nine and it is at this moment where everybody feels the reality of the tournament of power itself they're not gonna wait until after to see who's victorious they're doing a jump right then and now However, we pay attention to the angel of their universe. He had a smirk on his face. So there's something going on here with the angels that we have to keep an eye on. So that's basically your review in about two minutes. The episode in itself was very action packed. A lot less talking this time around other than the commentary from the angels and gods of destruction going on throughout all of the fighting. We see like some cuts of other warriors like Vegeta when he was by himself and Frieza toying with his opponents. We don't really see much of anybody else outside of that overall the fighting itself the fact that they were cornered and everyone is targeting universe 7 so they can get eliminated first and considering that they all believe that goku is the reason why they're in that predicament in the first place puts them at a stance where it's like the pressure is really on them so they have to back it off and they showed their cards. Goku and Vegeta were definitely playing it safe. They were not trying to power up at all. They were making a point of that. Whis was doing that commentary saying like, oh, they're trying to play it smart. They're trying to save their stamina because obviously if they were to fight everybody off at Super Saiyan Blue, then they would be done because you cannot use Sensu Beans or any kind of restore to help you out and continue on with the fight. So with that being said, here's the ratings from top to bottom. Sue freaking Goy, Super Saiyan, Great Saiyan Man, Yajirobe, and Yamcha. This week's episode is Sue freaking Goy. You know why this episode is Sue freaking Goy? I just said why. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, give it your own rating in the poll above my head. Let me know what you guys think about this episode. And tuning into next week, it looks like Krillin and Android 18 are going to get their shine. And I like that because I feel like a lot of these episodes are going to have to go back and forth between other characters that are in this tournament. So now that Universe 9 is all completely eliminated, that means more screen time for more people at a faster rate. So let's see what Krillin does and his power up that they're teasing in the episode title. And with that, guys, let us know what you guys think. Give it your rating and we'll see y'all next time.